Hey Jamers. I have to take care of this a second. Um, by now you've received your kalimba. And um, Max and I felt like it was really time for you to get a little bit of music theory. Okay, so Jamers, this is what you have. You have a, this is in something called Concert C. It's what all instruments are tuned to. Now, whether or not this is completely in tune with a piano is, is doubtful, but it doesn't matter. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the different keys. This, the lowest key is the one that's furthest out. The, the highest one is the one that's the furthest in. But this is actually um, called a Mixolydian scale, which is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Okay? Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. And then Do, Re, Mi, Fa. Oh, this is the highest one, sorry. And now you also may be wondering why I'm playing this down like this, and it's because your particular kalimba is made to resonate when it hits a surface. So if you pick it up, it's going to sound one way, but when you put it onto the, uh, this, any surface almost, we were putting it on pillows and everything, but I mean, if you put it on like a floor or something like that, or if you put it on a kettle, you know, I mean, it's always going to, everything is going to sound different. Um, but basically, it's all numbers. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the eighth is called the octave. That's an octave. Now, the interesting thing with most of these keys, you could play the two together. Let's say we went from the one, what, what is this, one, two, three. If we went one to three, sounds nice. Three to five, five to seven, seven, nine, nine, eleven. <gasps> nine, eleven, fuck. Now, that breaks down only here and here. Why is that? Because there's not a number in between. It's one and two. Listen to this. I mean, that could work if you wanted to scare your little children. But if you went from the two to four, four to six, six to eight, eight to 10, 10 to 12. Sounds good, right? That would be one, three, five, seven, five, three, one. This would be called a major seventh chord. You could play it on a guitar, on the piano, or on the kalimba. And it works all the way up. There are different modes, is what it's called, but that doesn't really matter. You could go. It just works. When I do my little meditation in the morning, I go like this. I go, um, Start one more time. So, Jammers, here's a uh, redemption song by Bob Marley.
okay? Okay, here's Frere Jacques. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, there's just so many things that you can play that it's just, it doesn't matter. Uh, Taj Mahal did something where he went. Uh, and then he just went. He just, I mean, he just played, and he, then he would do these little two, two and four, one, three, one, five, one, seven, whatever it was, and just, you can do whatever you want. Okay. So jammers. It's your kalimba. It's pretty cool. One, three, five, seven, nine. What would be next, jammers? 11, okay, the highest note, 12, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, enjoy your kalimba deer. Very the military.